Hello Aries, welcome to your March 2024 reading. This reading is all about your career, abundance and wealth. We are really zeroing in and we are focusing in the areas of business, your job prospect and money. So I do have quite a few oracle and tarot decks, three oracles and three tarot decks that I will be consulting. This is going to be a juicy reading. And I want to make sure that you listen to it with an open mind. So what I would like you to do is either grab yourself a glass of water or a choice of your beverage. Find yourself a nook in your house or wherever you are right now. Put on your AirPods or headphones. Relax, take a deep breath and let's do this together. Aries, let's start with your Oracle Dax. I always take cards on camera so that you can see me shuffle. I do that because I need your intention and your energy mixed into the reading, right? So we have three Oracle decks that we're going to consult. Let's take one card from each Oracle deck. Now, if more than one card do show up, then we'll just take it. We'll just take them, right? So let's find out. This is your career, your business, your money. Your first card is good luck. Aries, I think I can just stop your reading right there. Your next card is family. Maybe family fortune is at play here. And your third card, just from one Oracle deck. You're seeing this, right? I'm... Like I said, I'm taking these cards on camera and you're seeing those cards. So good luck, family and freedom right off the bat. Good luck is about to grace your life. You may come into some family wealth, generational wealth or you're building. Your circumstance will change in a way that you will be building some generational wealth and that will effort you and that will give you freedom, freedom to pursue your passion, freedom to give a life to your children that is free of manipulation, free of servitude, right? So that's right off the bat. Now, let's find out more. I will be channeling throughout this reading but the cards are making my life so much more easy because I don't even think I have to explain these cards to you. All right, this is my next Oracle deck and the card that flipped is territory number 49, reduces to 13, further reduces to four. Listen, territory could be one of two ways. You are either gaining more territory at work, right? Perhaps you're getting a bigger portfolio. You're getting more responsibility, right? Number four is a structure. Number four is about stability. So whatever you do for a living, I am hearing that you will come across a larger portfolio and more responsibilities. And with that, you will see a larger paycheck, right? Now, let's do one more card from this bright oracle deck. It's about God, gods and goddesses. So let's see. What can you expect? What can you expect? Now, this is not time sensitive. This is not just for March. Whenever you stumble upon this reading, this reading is equally applicable, Aries. All right. Let's find out what your spirit guides have to say. So I am going to consult your spirit guides directly all right so you've got ICs do you see it's sacred contract listen I know in my heart of heart that you are getting something bigger and better and ICs is overseeing this transaction the word contract I already channeled you're getting more responsibility bigger paycheck a bigger territory 
right? Now, if this is a business, it could be a family business that you're expanding. All right, let's see what else. End of a cycle. End of a cycle, yeah, because you are freeing yourself. The, the cycle of poverty, if you are facing poverty, the cycle of of lack, the cycle of not being enough, the cycle of series of bad luck, all of that is coming to an end because you have the good luck card and then you have Avalon Priestess, the intuitive awakening. And for me, this card is the best of them all because you are listening to your intuition more than anything else. Yes, you do listen to your logical brain but you are listening more to your intuition and you're making those intuitive decisions even if something is not making logical sense you are moving ahead pursuing things that made you afraid listen our logical brain right your logic your brain your conscious brain is there to protect you throughout the evolution of human race we have faced some larger than live animals and species to survive, right? It's all about the survival of the fittest on this planet. And for that reason alone, our conscious brain was developed to protect us so that we don't rush into danger, so that we make those calculative choices. Our conscious brain is not supposed to give us the, the courage. It's actually the opposite of it. There's nothing good or bad, right or wrong about that. Different parts of our body are supposed to do different things for us. We, the conscious brain has a completely different utility than your subconscious or your soul, your intuition. Your intuition is supposed to give you the nudge, the courage to step forth, to step into bigger, better, and sometimes perhaps scarier endeavors and that's what's going to happen i couldn't have scripted this this reading if i wanted to you are ending a cycle and the fact that this goddess only has one eye that's the eye of horus that's the all-seeing eye you are now seeing the freedom in front of you you are now seeing the territory the the vastness of opportunities in front of you. There is a sacred contract that you have signed before in reincarnating in this timeline. And that, and that sacred contract, that's the contract between you and the spiritual realm, has already decided, has already been written as you being successful and creating generational wealth. So let's take tarot cards now okay so i'm just going to move the camera like this let's take some tarot cards and tarot cards are more about getting into the nitty gritties oracle cards are about the blue sky the esoteric tarot cards are about really getting some specifics so what can you expect when it comes to your career? Maybe dates and, and months and timeline is what I'm after here. Your first card is the Eight of Emotions, which is the Eight of Cups. This is the end of the cycle that we just saw, right? You are walking away. I'm just going to put this card here because I don't have enough space here. So Eight of Emotions, and look how big that eclipse is. There's a big, there's a huge eclipse happening in March, the sign of Libra, and that will end the era of indecision. If you've been going back and forth on something, on a big project or a big endeavor or a start of a business, then you're emotionally withdrawing from that in and out you are absolutely going to commit yourself to it. All right, let's see. What else can you expect? What else can you expect? Let's take one more card from this deck. Spirit, what else can my Aries Collective expect when it comes to their career, abundance and wealth? The Emperor. 
the emperor. <laughs> Listen, you're about to build, and, and this goes fantastically with the territory card. The emperor doesn't become an emperor by sort of shying away from grabbing more territory by expanding their empire. So you are empire building. I'm telling you, I'm seeing generational wealth. I'm seeing wealth that will last not just your lifetime, but the lifetime of your children, your, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren at that. Okay, so you are walking away from indecision. You're walking away from fear because there's a sacred contract that guarantees good luck and freedom, expansion of territory. You're listening to your intuition more than you're listening to your logical brain. You also have family support. You may start a new business with family wealth. You may start something with your own family members. That's all I'm hearing right now. Okay, what else can we expect for my Aries Collective? Can I get some specifics here? Is there, I'm hearing a turn of event. There is apparently a turn of event for you. So I would like to know what that means. When and where and how is this turn of event going to play out, Spirit? When and okay. So you have the emperor again. Do you see it? The emperor? You have the emperor again. By the way, Aries, just in case you're sitting there and doubting me and doubting this reading, you have two emperor cards and th these are Aries cards. This is your reading. In case you have any doubt about this, you have the four of swords Okay, you have the nine of wands. Ooh. Oh, you will love this message. Wait for it. Wait for it. And you have the five of swords. Look, Aries, this is larger than life. This is bigger than you. This is bigger than what you think you deserve. All right, people have because you're the emperor, so you don't play small, and your ideas are big, your personality is big, and people have either tried to subdue that, like you know, almost put that under the thumb, either tried to subdue your power, your essence, your magic at work. Maybe you didn't get a job. And they gave it to somebody who has half your, your passion and half your wit and intelligence. So they've been trying, whoever they are in this scenario, this is a collective reading. So you have to really apply the reading the way you see it fit. So people at work have tried to put you down simply because they don't understand you and they have given opportunities or jobs or promotions to other people. And they have tried that quite a few times because I have two emperors on the board. And there are times you wanted to emotionally walk away from it with the Eight of Cups. You took it all in. You didn't lash out. Part of you is very tired with the Four of Swords and the Five of Swords. Part of you is very tired fighting this battle. This is no win. Five of Swords is all about no win. Part of you is absolutely tired of fighting with these snakes because it's a no win battle. Snakes have venom, which you don't. So it's a no win. How do you fight against venom? Right? So now what you did is you retreated back. You retreated back because you have more... You're going to do this with, with strategy as opposed to force. And with the nine of wands, nine of wands is a wounded soldier. Yes, you are wounded. You're tired. You're almost on the last leg of this journey. But there is one more wand. And that one wand makes all the difference in the world. Because the next card to the nine of wands is the ten of wands. That is just letting go all that burden. And as soon as you let go all of your burdens, you start the cycle back with the Ace of Wands. And that's a new passionate beginning. And you 
have, what you have done is look at this. Look at all the equation, mathematics. You have gone back and you have strategized. Isis and you have a sacred contract. This emperor is sitting nicely under Isis. You have a sacred contract. Isis is overseeing this contract. People who have misjudged you, perhaps belittled you, they're literally taking on goddess Isis, not just you. So I would like to find out now with the next deck, and this is the final deck that I'm going to consult, that this resurrection, this certain turn of event, because what Spirit just told me is the background story, which shouldn't come as a surprise to you because you know, you know that you've been overlooked, you know you have been underestimated by folks and your your superiors, your friends, perhaps co-workers. So what is that turn of event? What is that turn of event, spirit? How is this going to turn around? Give us some specific time and date. Save this reading if this is your first time on my channel. Make sure to subscribe, Aries. <laughs> the Two of Cups. Look at that. What is that turn of event? If this was a love reading, I would have said Two of Cups. You two are coming together. This is a career reading, a business reading. Everything you asked for is will Everything you ask for will be given to you and you will collaborate with people that know your value and whether these people are within the company, within the business, there is a new partnership afoot. Somebody, and I'm also hearing this, is somebody with a lot of capital, like money, will approach you to start a new venture. There is an angel venture capitalist. I, I hope you know what an angel venture venture, what an angel venture capitalist is. They're, they're people with a lot of money laying around, and they look for businesses to invest in. And I'm hearing that this individual will approach you out of nowhere. Okay, so that's the two of cups. So I'm hearing investment, whether it's investment through money investment through mentoring you. I'm also hearing mentor. Two of Cups is a fantastic card. As for direction, you also have the Ten of Swords. The pain of it and the Ten of Swords is nicely seating um, below the end of a cycle. The pain of dealing with these snakes. Remember the Five of Swords was, you're like, I I'm done. This is a no-win battle. Look what happened to the snake. The Ten of Swords. My apologies. This is the Five of Swords again. Okay. My apologies. This is the Five of Swords. So you have two Five of Swords. So there is an end of a cycle. End of a cycle. Fighting with these snakes. And two fives make ten. So I was right. Even though I was kind of intuitively channeling. What I'm saying to you is. There will be an end to unnecessarily fighting and going up against people they that you know who don't believe in your dreams who don't believe in your abilities you you have to no longer deal with individuals mark my word aries you have to no longer deal with individuals who do not appreciate what you bring to the table you will only be and just as i said that I was shuffling and I was going to take some cards. You have the justice. You have the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. You have the moon and you have the strength. And you have the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles and the king of cups. My goodness gracious. What am I going to do with your reading today? Look at this. So what I said to you, I said you no longer have to deal with these, these low vibrational snakes who have no idea who you are. Do not understand your vision. Do not appreciate your abilities. 
they only put roadblocks in front of you and unnecessarily rile you up. You no longer have to deal with these individuals in, in business or career. You are being backed by, you are being recognized by individuals that are worth your time and worth your attention. Justice is a Libra card. There's going to be balance and there's going to be justice. Now, with the Six of Cups, what I'm hearing, so Six of Cups is a spiritual contract card. Hear me out here. Six of Cups is usually an old uh, friend or a past life connection. So it's usually an sort of a soulmate contract. Now, soulmates don't always have to be lovers. The person who's going to help you could be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. The person could be a Libra as well. So that person and you have an old soul contract. That's the sacred contract, right? They're coming back, whether you recognize them or not, whether they recognize you or not, the two of you have a soul contract. And this person and you, it could be more than one person, by the way. These people and you will be soaring to the height of your success. You have the moon. Remember what I said about fear. You, the moon is essentially high priestess. You already have Avalon priestess. This is cancer. This is cancerian energy. I am actually doing this reading on February the 24th when the full moon is happening in the sign of Virgo. Virgo is a sign of analytics and analysis and Virgo is also a sign of organization. So whatever you have feared in your mind, in your disorganized mind, it's all coming together to give you the strength, which is a Leo card, by the way, to give you the strength to persevere and to persevere to what? The Ace of Wands. Remember when the Nine of Wands came out and I said, if you can push through this, Nine of Wands is a wounded soldier. If you can push to this, you get to the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is when you put down all your burdens and you start a new cycle. You start a new cycle. And this is end of a cycle, start of a cycle. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles. So you will finally be making money through things that absolutely re-energizes your soul. You're passionate about this. This is not just a humdrum day-to-day -day job that you will be holding. And you will gain so much territory, right? With the King of Cups and the Two of Cups, I'm telling you. Again, this is Scorpio energy. There is a person or a group of people who will be investing in you spiritually, mentally, physically, like, like tangibly, they will be investing in you. Okay. So, my dearest Aries, in conclusion, Lady Love is about to smile on you and your family. You may come into family wealth, and that could be the Two of Cups and the King of Cups, right? You may come into wealth through your business, through other people investing in you. Generational wealth is what we're talking about. That will provide freedom to you and to your family. You're gaining territory. You're expanding your portfolio. You are taking on more responsibilities. You will be traveling the world is what I hear, what I just heard. You are walking away from a cycle of failure, failure, and you no longer see each other. And I have decreed that, and so shall it be. You have a sacred contract, which is being overseen by goddess Isis, and the Avalon priestess is helping you with your intuition. You're walking away. You're walking away from people and scenarios that are no longer in your highest good. Two Aries cards showed up because you're becoming the emperor and reclaiming your territory or perhaps claiming your territory for the first time. You're finally overcoming your fear with the moon card, having the strength to pursue what is just fully yours with the justice card. And there is a new beginning, the new beginning that will not give you tangible success, but will give you that 
energy to pursue life and pursue business with such a vigor and you will be surrounded by people, surrounded by people who see your true worth. That's your reading, my darling. I am so glad you're the first reading for this series. I am so glad that this has started with a bang and I'm a Taurus sun. So you're my sister sign and I love it. I love it when you do well, because I know that will spill over to the Taurus collective. That's the next reading until I see you next time. I wish you all the luck, not that you would need it. I wish you all the freedom, not that you will need it. And I wish you, I wish you Godspeed as you take on the world. Take care, my love. Bye now.